coming to the wall, and the touch is Leah Neal. As an Olympic swimmer from Brooklyn, we cheered on her every stroke in London. Meet Leah Neal, the hometown girl that brought pride and Olympic victory home. Like many young children, Leah Neal showed enthusiasm for splashing in the pool at a very young age. I started swimming when I was six because my friends were taking swim lessons and they told me to join, so I did. And within two years, others began to notice her speed and strength in the water. Other parents kept telling me, oh, she's so smooth in the water. <laughs> she don't look like she tried very hard, but she's so smooth and so fast. Soon after joining Asphalt Green, at age 10, Leah started breaking records and winning junior championships. We're just going to get some aerobic stuff in at the beginning, nothing major. Before becoming her coach, Rachel Stratton Mills, one of three female coaches to put athletes on an Olympic swim team, was an early admirer of Leah. I remember hearing all about Leah Neal 10 years ago and how phenomenal she was. Little did I know that I would be coaching her at that point. So why don't you just alternate, one fly, one free. She was so quiet when I got here. She was such a quiet young girl, didn't say much. She's come out of her shell so much, so that's been a lot of fun to watch. All right, Leah, that left shoulder that's looking a little tight, so try to get a little flatter across the water. And after several years of enduring school and training, nearly 365 days a year, up to nine times a week, Leah was now ready to try out for the U.S. Olympic team. I think trials is definitely more nerve-wracking than the Oxford Olympics. We always say that the USA swimmers do so well at the Olympics because the pressure of the Olympics can never compete with the pressure of Olympic trials. What I was really just aiming for was to make, like, top six. Leah came in fourth and surpassed her own expectations. 